Imagine a conscious contact with God so strong that no matter what you are doing or not doing, that no matter what your kids are up to or not up to, and that whether you've got the person of your dreams or they're just not cooperating, that you are happy, content, and at peace. A space where everyone else's thoughts, attitudes, and actions are beautiful and exactly as they are supposed to be. Well, this is the space where I like to play. My name is Misha Z, and this is today's Bitch Slap. Join me as I shed light on the thoughts, actions, and attitudes that are causing you pain, and we train our minds to go to the capital S inner self, the joy that is waiting for us, the God within. Covert anger, final thoughts. Covert subversive anger, final thoughts. Um, as a 53-year-old man at the time of this recording, you know, I, I definitely, over, the, over my life arc, had stripped away various levels of anger, aggressiveness, passive aggressiveness, and I sh- surely have more room to, go, to, to, to grow in that regard, and new light will be shed on, on those things for me, I am sure. I get to as Barbara Carnes gets to say die from a gradual death and continue my <laughs> this relationship to the world uh, as I relate to this way <laughs> to this world as it is wow I just went really heady really quick um, anyhow uh, you know I, I, I just had come to that point as I said uh, what would that be uh, you know nine years ago where I was fighting with my son yet again to the point of tears uh, around his math homework, I think it was, and and uh, something needed to change. And uh, you know, I bought a couple books on anger, and and uh, that that show of willingness um, sparked massive change in me. Further massive change, right? And. Perhaps I wouldn't have needed to change, but uh, it's much funner to go through the world these days with the attitude of bringing love in every situation, letting go of the fear of what bringing love, what the result of that may be, and why did I have such a fear of that, and why, why, why does it matter? I can maybe get insight to why at a later time what is important is how I act now. And so one of the key things around that was I could not imagine my life without that bit of edge to drive me. And I briefly mentioned it in perhaps it was episode one or episode two of the Covert Anger series here that... um, you know, that sort of edge helped push me in sales. Like that edge helped me helped me prospect. That edge helped me do the uncomfortable work in sales and and served its purpose for the universe. Right? Not to go too heady on you there, but I'm trying not to hold judgment in these situations anymore. It's like, hey, you know, if I can step back a few levels, start stripping out judgment. Anyway, that's a whole other conversation. But I just could not comprehend how if this character defect is removed from me, who am I going to be? Who is Misha? Those habits were so ingrained in me. You know, those, that justifiable anger, that dubious anger of, of the normal man that, that I justified away as not being anger, as being passionate, as being a quirk of my character, as being who Misha is. I could not get my arms around who I would be 
without that intensity. Like, 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 it's funny when we throw those words in instead of the uncomfortable silence. Mm. What was going to fill that void? How would I, Misha, survive in the world? without that edge that had served me so well, that had paid the bills, that had helped me, you know, support a family and perhaps ultimately (laughs) subversively undermine a family. (laughs) People get tired of passive-aggressive, aggressive-aggressive behavior. Um, But anyhow, I... It's an interesting thing. What is going to fill that void? And I can't imagine who am I going to be without it. And I, therefore, I can't be without it. And I would challenge, do you you have a thought about some quirks of your character? Like, that's just who I am. And maybe the fear is, who would you be without it? And I see that in people as I see it in myself. I'm like, oh yeah, like, they, we as humans can say, yeah, that's just who I am but we can't imagine ourselves without it. And um, you know what? I think about that now about various quirks of my character. I'm like, is this something that has run its course and just because I cannot imagine it not being part of who I am, who am I going to be without it? Like, what? It's, that's... Uh, Is there stuff like that sussing around in me? That's such a great question. I would challenge you, listeners, like, do you have a quirk in your character that you justify as being, that's just who I am? When ultimately it's like, perhaps that could go away and something beautiful could replace it. And so I have just had that just experience, just that experience, right? I, I was like, can I survive in the world? Can I survive as a salesperson? Can I survive in this iteration of myself without that intensity? And it turns out that yes, I can. And indeed I can thrive. And indeed I can thrive in relationships. Indeed Seeding that control, indeed, the willingness to get rid of that, that 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 lower levels of anger has been replaced by love. In this case, love, like love and source and you know God, infinite intelligence, just like mm, the ability, much more than ever in my life over this past nine years and, and, and learning more and more how to do this, how to bring love in every situation without the fear of loss. What, again, I would challenge you, and this is, this is a bit of who I am. And I can tend to think, well, because I'm like this, everybody's like this. Well, that's absolutely not the case. (laughs) Some of you listening may have never had these issues or, you know, be like 40 steps ahead. And God bless you. And a couple of you might be right behind me. And God bless you too. So the arc of life is super fun. I, I, I love the idea of can a piece of my character go away, who I think I am, where I think I can't, who is, who am I going to be without it? And I'm here to tell you that something beautiful will be there to replace it. And uh, that's it. Final thoughts on my covert anger series. Thank you for listening. Per usual, love to all. Have a good day. Thank you, thank you, thank you for spending time with me today. As someone who is committed to growth and service to this world, 
I so appreciate your willingness to come with me, go within, and serve our world through change. If you found value in this podcast and you know someone who can use this message, share this episode with them. Share it so our mission can be achieved one episode at a time. And of course, subscribe so you can hear more. And lastly, for more resources on what has helped me on my journey and can help you on yours, go to belove.media forward slash resources. That's B-E-L-O-V-E dot media forward slash resources. Thank you again for listening.